All right, Chris, thank you very much. Statistics show that 93% of children who are sexually abused have it done to them at the hands of someone they know. Now, founder of the Voice Movement, Angela Williams, is joining us this morning to share her story and also how parents can recognize the signs and what to do to talk to your kids about this. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. John, I am so excited to come and share this critical message. So why is this so important to you. I am so passionate about protecting the innocence of our children and protecting the next generation because I was so violently abused as a child. I climbed to the top of a bridge and looked down over black swirling waters and tried to throw myself off that bridge. I took a mix of sleeping pills and vodka to try to kill myself and I am just lost my entire childhood and I mm -hmm. really want our society to wake up and to stand up and let's together uh, figure out the solutions of why and how we are failing our children. How does that affect you today? You must still, I would imagine, from time to time have thoughts or feelings about it. Uh, I believe that healing from uh, child abuse is a lifelong journey and I think getting your voice and getting your power back and mm -hmm. certainly becoming an activist to protect the next generation of children has helped in my healing. So you, you have all these books here that we see, also this book that you wrote From Sorrows to Sapphires and you have something called um, this, I guess, the safe method. Explain what that is. The safe formula is really a formula to let's uh, begin to look at this issue and just tools and uh, teachable moments that I'm going to just go through some things that parents can do today with their children. One, S, speak. We have got to be speaking as a society about how and why we're failing our children. And we have got to be speaking to our children and letting them know that they do have a voice. Letting them know that if, if someone harms them, touches their private parts, violates their space, they have got to tell you. F, F is for follow up. We as adults are responsible for protecting our children, so we have got to have the courage to pick up the phone and to call law enforcement, call protective services for children. Even if it means calling on a family member or a friend, if that child is violated, they are looking to you to protect them. And then E, E is the most important gift. I have a present here that we can give our children, and that is education. We have to educate ourselves as adults on how to predict and prevent child sexual abuse, and we have to educate our children. So I'm going to just go through some things that our viewers can do with their children today. One is a swimsuit. When you're dressing your child for the pool, this is a great opportunity to explain to them where their private parts are and that no one is allowed mm -hmm. to touch their private yeah. parts. Bath time is a great time to do that. A hula hoop. What kid doesn't love to play with a hula hoop? This is a wonderful tool that a parent can teach a child about their personal boundaries. And any space within this hula hoop is their personal space. And they have the right to reject any type of affection or anything that makes them feel uncomfortable. And then this is a fun little toy from the dollar store. And we can teach our children the power of their no voice. So just screaming, no! And mm -hmm. practicing that with that child so when they are threatened, that muscle is exercised. Mm -hmm. And then the gift, we have to begin to teach our children the difference between a surprise and a secret. Mm -hmm. Secrets conceal, surprises reveal, surprises make people happy. Mm -hmm. uh, secrets, uh, uh, an abuser will silence a child, will mm -hmm. keep them silenced. So we have to really be vigilant about helping children get their voice and helping them speak. And we have so many uh, resources at voicetoday.org. And if a child can't speak, give them a crayon and a piece of paper mm -hmm. and say, draw, draw what makes you yeah. feel uncomfortable. Help me understand. All right. Well, that is uh, the website again is voice voicetoday.org. Voice and I just invite Dot everyone org. to join the voice movement. Let's come together, stand up and become vigilant about protecting the innocence of our children. Angela Williams, thank you very much. Shannon.